Mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TF TV tafadhali subscribe ili uwe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi. Share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Excellencies, access to clean cooking is critical for achieving developmental goals and reducing over reliance on traditional biomass. And despite its essential role in supporting implementation towards SDGs, access to clean cooking remains limited with over 80% of sub-Saharan Africa still dependent on biomass and especially firewood and charcoal for cooking. This in turn endangers carbon sinks and biodiversity but also disproportionately affects women and girls who often spend hours collecting biomass and cooking. Furthermore, the use of traditional biomass has negative health impacts on people. At the same time, access to clean energy and appropriate technology is constrained by affordability and availability limitations. As we reflect on these challenges, it is essential to emphasize the nexus between access to clean cooking and gender equity. Women and girls are particularly vulnerable in this situation as they are disproportionately affected by use of biomass for cooking. And the burden of biomass collection often hazardous and time-consuming limits their opportunities for education and economic participation. And to address these disparities, clean cooking initiatives ought to integrate a gender perspective, ensuring that women have access to clean cooking solutions improves their health, education, and well-being and promotes active participation in decision making. By developing clean cooking solutions tailored to address challenges facing women and girls, we can be expected to foster greater equity and resilience in African communities. Excellencies, strong political commitment is essential to transition from traditional cooking methods at both national and regional levels in order to drive policies, strategies, plans, and targets for clean cooking as part of national and Africa region growth initiatives. Her Excellency, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, a global advocate for clean cooking, launched the Africa Women Clean Cooking Support Program during COP28 and the Tanzania National Clean Cooking Strategy, which runs from 2024 to 2034 in May of 2024. Her leadership exemplifies a path forward and encourages all African leaders to commit and prioritize the clean cooking agenda. Excellencies and distinguished delegates, various aspects including financial and technological innovation, must be explored in our quest to improve access to clean cooking. Incentives such as subsidies on LPG and other clean cooking solutions improved in countries where such incentives were provided. And furthermore, technology plays a pivotal role in accelerating the adoption of clean cooking solutions. I therefore urge African leaders to promote the development of technologies that facilitate clean cooking. And given that Africa is a young population, we must encourage and tap the innovativeness of our youth to develop appropriate clean cooking solutions. And with regard to financing, it is helpful to consider application of pay-as-you-go options, smart metering, and prepaid systems that allow payments in installment 
to make clean cooking more accessible and affordable, especially in rural communities. An emphasis should also be given on vocational training in clean cooking technologies to build up a skilled workforce which is capable of innovating smart cooking solutions as well as handling repairs and maintenance of malfunctioning stoves and accessories. Excellencies and distinguished delegates, standards for clean cooking technologies are crucial in reduction of harmful emissions and lower energy consumption, which is critical for household savings and environmental sustainability. And these standards ensure clean cooking solutions adhere to essential performance criteria, offering consumers safe and effective products. And by enforcing these standards, we can ensure clean cooking technologies that safeguard health, safety, energy efficiency, and environmental sustainability. Excellencies, as we address clean cooking, I wish to restate that a one-size-fits-all solution may not be available. And therefore, national plans and strategies ought to consider local resources, challenges, and area-specific circumstances in order to come up with tailored solutions. We can create more effective and sustainable clean cooking initiatives by adapting solutions to meet different communities' specific needs and circumstances. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, in conclusion, I wish to remind ourselves that about 900 million people in Africa still depend on biomass energy for cooking, leading into deforestation, loss of carbon sinks and health hazards, especially for women and girls. It is important to appreciate that transition to clean cooking nationwide is not easy, considering resource and technological constraints. I therefore urge African leaders to prioritize and fast track clean cooking for all, forging partnerships with the private sector, international partners, and other stakeholders, especially with respect to financing and technology. Thank you for listening. Tiv TV na kupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje ya nchi. Tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya Tiv TV, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter na Instagram. Bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Tiv TV tupo kijamii